Hello, and welcome once again to another episode of Third Action. I am your host, Jason, and these are the same three technical difficulties that were here last week. In the bottom left, we have Char playing Asher Ford, Human Ranger. Did you know my favorite movie of all time is The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser? Is it? It is. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and that's what we're doing today, is recreating that movie. Exactly, perfectly. <laughs> uh, in the bottom middle, we have Will playing Greshi Ironroot, Dwarven Druid. Did you know Hello? that my favorite movie is not The Mummy starring Brendan Fraser? Well, why not? It's the best movie of all time. I disagree. Is it, <laughs> is it Max Headroom? <laughs> With the bottom right, we have Gun Show, Champion of Arastal, played by Adam. Hey, everybody. Was your favorite movie The Scorpion King? Oh, no. Uh, rock chomp? I almost died to The Scorpion King, didn't I, earlier? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That doesn't make my, that's not my favorite moment. <laughs> All right. your favorite Brendan Fraser film? <laughs> I, I don't have a lot of them. Uh, Cool. George of the Jungle, obviously. <laughs> Last time on Third Action, our group of intrepid adventurers did some stuff. Uh, I don't know. Now they're in a tower. Um, you uh, still. The opposite of a tower. <laughs> it, yeah, it is kind of a, a facade of a tower, isn't it? Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, you, you snuck through the... Uh, backwards through Jorgenfist to big try and find hole. the Black Tower. Um, you climbed your way out of a big ass hole uh, after accidentally alerting some cave bears. Um, Greshi, with some Briefly. quick words of animal <laughs> kindness or something, uh, managed to coerce the bears into standing down, uh, and you made your way up to the surface, to the inner inner circle of the Ring Fortress. You saw the big black tower. You went to big black tower. Inside the tower was empty. Oh no. You found a rug. You moved rug. Underneath was strange, icy uh, trapdoor. Greshi, open trapdoor. Uh, gun, go down trapdoor. Greshi, go down trapdoor. Asher, hang out above trapdoor. Big scary <laughs> mummy man appear. <laughs> Big scary mummy man say <laughs> scary mummy things in another language that you don't know. Um which would be Thessalonian, or uh, if you have Necrol. <laughs> if you happen to know Necrol, he's throwing in a few Necrol oh, phrases. Oh, just let me check right here. <laughs> um, I know it's one of the most I popular languages in to... Verizia. You know, I didn't take that one. I didn't know one. they had their own little language. I've got common and dwarven Yotun. See, I took Yotun instead. There's ah, my mistake. Yeah, what a, how unfortunate. All right, let's I get on. It's never come in handy over here so yeah we've got asher useless, and that one. rock upstairs the um right here is where the uh the trap door is in the middle of the room um asher has laid out some candles whoa uh some ever burning candles uh for rock to be able to see um you uh yeah, you probably would... I was supposed to cast light before <laughs> uh, that's true yeah you could have <laughs> <laughs> Um, luckily, everybody has dark vision except for the pets. Um, right. Let's see. For a while. Uh, Asher, you would be able to hear like echoes of voices uh, coming from the tunnel. Uh, but otherwise, down at the bottom, uh, we have you two and where's Black Mummy? Black Monk. Black Monk has appeared. So yeah, he is holding this uh, strange, uh, looks almost like a massive, like oversized scroll case. Um, it's semi-translucent and you can see a number of scrolls inside. Um, but on the outside of it, there's all of these ancient Thessalonian runes kind of shifting and adjusting. Um, so let us, let me clear this initiative tracker and let's roll initiative. Uh, standard perception for initiative will do. Turn down the battle music slightly for me. Oh, 27 for Grashy. Make sure I get my... There we go. Token is selected, and then 
Gun was the, the 33. The big chunker die. That's not bad, chunker die. Uh, that is a 39 for the monk. Uh, did Asher roll? I did. I think a bunch are coming. Okay, oh, the okay. first one would be the right one. All right. 33. It just was <laughs> not loading. No, no, natural one for 19. <laughs> yeah, natural one for a 19. Good for me. <laughs> it, yeah, I was like, it gave me the 37, but it should not have done that. <laughs> All right. that, that works out though, because I don't have any idea what's going on up here. Then I hear things. Yeah. So okay. So what we've got is uh, Gun and Greshi. You have both uh, ended up in this um, open, dark chamber uh, filled with uh, uh, just frost all over. The floor is uh, a complete ice slick. Um, all around are just stone walls covered in ice. Uh, there are six other sarcophagi, um, all currently sealed uh, in kind of corners of the room, and a seventh sarcophagus on the north side of the room, which the black monk has just arisen from. Uh, his eyes are glowing green in the darkness, um, I guess giving off some, some amount of light just around him. Um, and yeah, so the black monk is going to go first with a 39, gun second with a 33, Greshi is third with a 27, and Asher is up next after that with a 19. Um, currently, I believe uh, Phelan is still in Puppy Pouch. Um, I oh, correct. Sorry, I'm moving people Two around. Two up and carried down. Uh, and yeah, all right, cool. Uh, it is the Black Monk's turn, so... Uh, his eyes go glow brightly and he begins to or continues to mumble strange dark phrases uh, <laughs> under his breath uh, he, he doesn't even seem to be directing things necessarily towards you just kind of echoing out into the chamber um, uh, sure why not um, as he's doing so, the, the chants grow louder, and exhaling from his uh, lungs um, is this kind of foul-looking mist um, that spreads out over the two of you there. Uh, so yeah, Gun and Greshi, I need uh, reflex saves. Oh, all right. Reflex. Yes. Gershi gets a 39. Gun has a 32. Okay. Possibly with a little bit of a buff if this counts as a uh, um, poison. No, this is not poison. Yes, so the next. The, uh, this yeah. mist leaks out of his mouth. Um, and as it uh, touches your armor and skin, um, you you feel like just a sudden onset of decay as you like try to shield yourselves um just mm -hmm. instantly your armor starts to deteriorate in, in certain pl in places your skin kind of grows a little bit blacker and darker um you each succeed um but you will take some negative is this damage. a necromancy spell uh this is yes this is a necromancy it is a critical success then for greshi Oh, okay. Well, then it's success. Uh, yes, it is a that would have normally been a success. So this is a critical success instead for Greshi. Uh, you are a Death Warden, aren't you? Or Death something? That is correct. Okay. Death uh, Warden so, Dwarf. Uh, your skin does not corrode. Your ancestors oh. have fought against the undead for generations, uh, and your skin is resistant to it. Uh, that is not the case for Gun though. Uh, who will just take half of this damage on success. Uh, it would be 40 damage, so have to 20. Okay. Okay. Um, then the... Hmm. What do we do? Hmm. The monk then um, begins to glide across the ice, 
uh, very, very quickly. Uh, and as it does so, it becomes a blur. Um, so it just kind of, like, flies around the two of you, circling around very quickly. Um, it is now concealed. It's still attackable, but it mm. is it is a a blur. Gun. And when I say it's flying, it's like just hovering just over the ground. It's not actually touching the ice. Right. Gotcha. Um, the ice all around you, uh, as you start your turn. I um, uh, I'll explain the ice real quick. The ice is both difficult terrain and uneven terrain. So if you want to move... Uh, anything over like five feet um, you have to make an acrobatics check and his concealment means I don't know what square he's in uh, uh, no concealment means you do know what square he's in but when you make an attack against him or target him with anything you have to beat a, uh, a flat check this to, to actually hit him yeah he's got okay. this chance okay okay um, it's a DC five. And that probably wouldn't check. be impeded. That probably wouldn't be impeded in any way. His activation of that by, um, by me creating difficult terrain, or mm. like if he's dancing around us. No, especially since he's flying. Okay. He's he, like he is flying over the terrain. Well, I mean, so I, I'm just making sure. I, I oh, sure. agree that I don't think I just don't know how this works. Um, okay. Yeah. But uh, this ability of his, but I, I got a new thing that makes all the terrain around me difficult terrain for enemies because I'm harassing them with a shield. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't fly close enough to you for for that to count. Um, but okay. Yes, I, I would okay. agree that it would be difficult terrain for him if he comes near you. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a step. Okay. Um, this actually, spot. I think I, I lied. I haven't done uh, balancing in a while. Do, 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 do. Yes, to move across uneven ground, you do have to take a balance action. You can't take a step. So for any any movement, oh, okay. you have to try and balance. All right, even if it's just five feet. Yes, even if it's just five feet. Okay, a balance, that's an acrobatics check? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's going to go splendid. It's not going to be easy. Um, Where's Ash over? Ooh. But there's an 18 for 34. 34. Okay. Uh, you make your stealth steps carefully across the uh, across the ice, uh, trying to hold your balance. Um, you succeed, so you can move up to your speed. Um, but it's still difficult terrain. Okay. Um, which means I can only move up to half speed. Yeah, correct. Okay. All of the well, ice gonna... is yeah, difficult. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stay here because it lets me be closer to Greshi. Okay, you kind of uh, step forward interposing cover. yourself between the Black Monk and Greshi. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll definitely go with an attack as I I mean, as soon as he started to creep out, we were armed and focusing on him. Right. Uh, so we'll hit him with the uh, with the basic attack here for a thirty to hit. Okay. Uh, oh, with a. Go ahead. Were you gonna say something? Flat check of yes. Uh, flat check. Flat please. check of seven. Okay. Uh, you beat the five flat check, but the thirty. Uh, you swing your blade towards him. Um, but your sword just catches rags, uh, and, uh, you, you just, like, tear through a, a yeah, so just cloth. Um, you thought he was right, right there in front of you, but he just shifted slightly out of the way. So that 30 does not hit. Okay. Then. He is very fast. Um, I'm not seeing any... Um, of my spells that are going to help very much yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and regather myself to do another strike while I can. 
Okay. Um, try and catch him with a blow going the other direction and nope, the same for a 25. Okay, you brace yourself, swing back uh, in the opposite direction, uh, trying to catch him on the back swing, uh, but he just drifts out of the way for that 25. That is a miss. Greshi. Okay. How many actions is it for Greshi to pull Phelan out to be big form? Is it two or just one? Uh... Where where are you keeping him? You're keeping him like in a bag. Yeah, basically it's converted backpack to kind of hold something. Yeah, it'd be one action to sized. draw him out, um, and then you can drop him with a mm-hmm. reaction. Okay. All right, so we're going to take two actions to start with to cast targeting this point over here on the eastern wall. A fairy fire, which I happen to have prepared for today. Okay. And that will shroud the monk in a fine lining that allows him to be seen, even though he's going very fast. And should allow us to be a bit more precise in hitting him despite his speed. Okay, yeah, visible creatures cannot be concealed. It means a concealed condition. All right, yeah, a blast. So you just kind of... Uh, do a quick turn and hurl a uh, what appears to be just be like pixie dust. It slams against the wall, explodes, uh, and catches the uh, black monk before he can turn and to do anything about it. Um, and he is outlined in uh, yeah sparkles, <laughs> little green sparkles. And I shall draw Phelan with my third action. Okay. So you just pull him out and do you you actually drop him or? I've got him in hand. I'm not going to drop him quite yet. I have to, dismissing is an action. I see, okay. So that's where I was kind of wondering if it was a, can I pull him out and drop him or is it an action to pull him out? And since it is then. Yeah, it'll it'll be an action to pull. Just like drawing a weapon. He will be big next turn. Okay. Fire is a color of your choice, Will. Uh, Yes, you can can choose the different colors. Green, Green? all right. Greshi would choose green. <laughs> I personally prefer purple, but... Asher, you hear the sounds of combat oh, echoing boy. up from that tunnel. And a strange I voice that you don't it. recognize. Do I, do I recognize what it's saying? Even a little? Like a uh, letter? Ooh. Yeah. Probably not really from here. Like, you, if you wanted, you could use an action to, like, perception check to try and hear better uh, what it's saying, but it, it's so Asher. echoey You're that you, you can't quite make it out. I like to think that I'm like, I've only read these words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they're pronounced. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, Is that how you say avocado? Closer. So this, this is... 20, which is half my movement. How oh, long you. does it take me to climb down a, a rope? Um, I don't actually know how far it is. Yeah, it's... I think I said it's about 100 feet down. You could... Mm-hmm. You could slide down a rope. Um, Are you wearing gloves? I am. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, my gloves. Just my healing right potion off. is. You just burn them right off. Just um, the middle parts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to slide down a rope, that's really just uh, it's kind of like falling. Are right? there like knots in the rope? There are. Oh, there are I mean, knots in the rope. Um, can I like? I can. It's not spelunking. The thing you do when you repel off. Maybe it's. I think it's repelling. Um, yeah, it's yeah. repelling. <laughs> pretty fast um yeah let's call it let's call it two actions um to to safely kind of slide down and repel uh your way down the the rope um will get you down into the room i'm trying to like grab you from the from my (laughs) obs view (laughs) i can't be grabbed especially with catfall you can jump yeah you can you can pretty safely yeah drop uh, the remainder of the way once you once you get down, um, so it's okay. 
Asher, and uh, yeah, free slides. fall is what, like 500 feet in a round? Yeah. So I, I think oh, it's. Oh, and I, I tell Rock to watch the rope to make sure it doesn't come undone. Not that it would. Ah! <laughs> Rock <laughs> confirms uh, as you slide your way down to the bottom. And you see, uh, once you get I'll there. I hold it if someone came. <laughs> you can see this uh, monk outlined in green. Um, your allies engaging in combat. Uh, well, at least Gun is. Greshi is currently holding Phelan like a little pup. Round oh. two. Uh, holding with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> there was a mummy down here. Oh, surprise. Why you be interested? No. Uh, the monk continues <laughs> to... Old no. mummy. <laughs> the mummy monk continues to curse and chant uh, is strange language um, or mix of the two strange languages uh, and is going to attack Gun, who is right there next to him. Um, let's call that a flurry. Uh, that one of those is good. One of those is not good. These are, well, let's see. Um, that's a 35 to hit. Um, I'm gonna use, wait, do you hit or miss if you hit the AC exactly? You if it's AC it, exactly, it's okay, a hit. Then, okay. Um, then no point in reacting by the raising shield for that one, but. Okay. Um, and the second one is going to be a uh, 46. Okay, that's a hit and a crit. Maybe I will react by raising shield. That way I can use my other specific reaction for um, for shield blocking. By, All right. By one. So. Um, I guess I combine the damage for the purposes of weakness, resistances, etc. Okay. Oh, well then I probably won't <laughs> blocking it because it would probably just break my shield. Mm -hmm. uh, almost certainly. Um, this is a... I need to roll it in <laughs> roll 20 because I don't have enough dice. Uh, let's call that... So that was a hit. And a crit. I call that plus. All right. Uh, that could be worse. Uh, 81 points of bludgeoning damage. As he. That's literally half the health he had left. <laughs> yep. Um, so the monk just. Uh, his, his arms are like tightly clutching this uh, scroll case. Uh, and his legs are entirely bound in wraps. So what he ends up doing is just kind of uh, like free spinning in the air. Um, and his like wrapped legs just kind of plow into you uh, from the top. Um, and then he God. just like kind of headbutts you uh, from, from below. Um, it is a very strange like twisty turvy flying odd slot uh, that he lays into you <laughs> with. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's a total of 81 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, give me a fortitude save as well. Oh, he's stinky. He's like a stinky, stinky rotty bad. sausage man. Fort and. save is not great. Let's go ahead and re-roll that. Okay. Um, All right. With a so that would have been a 27. Point. I want you to have a natural 20 point. on that. So that's a a 44. 44. Okay. Uh, you're safe from whatever that was, uh, but give me another fortitude save. <laughs> Two different effects. Aha. A 41. A 41. Uh, you succeed that one as well. Uh, so you are unaffected by those special abilities. Um, in that case, that was one. Um... Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Uh, in that case, we try another. Uh, you said your AC is 35? 35 right now, yes. Okay. With a um, shield up. 
Second attack will not hit. Uh, third attack... Or sorry, third attack will not hit. Fourth attack... Um, I need to... That, that'll also not hit. So he's just kind of still doing this, like, twisty-turvy... Uh, flinging himself around at you. Yeah, like a foosball well, player. Yeah. Something. He's like a little foosball <laughs> <laughs> oh. widget. <laughs> It's kind of spinning around, trying to attack you. Uh, gun, your turn. <laughs> um, as he's spinning around, I'm going to try and catch those feet with my sword. <laughs> like, stop that. Cut his ankles. <laughs> Cut his ankles off. <laughs> and that time I have a 37. Uh, 37 will hit this time. Roll damage. Of 25. Uh, 25 points. So that's slashing, piercing, sonic acid. Uh, checking for special things. No. Okay. Yeah, slashing in, in this case. Slashing in this case. All right. 25 points of damage as you manage to cut through him. Uh, or at least you catch like part of his arm. Uh, he screeches. Uh, and there's like this kind of dark mist that seeps out of him. Um, action two. Okay, I'm going to uh, chant the Litany of Wrath at him so that um, sort of what's the, rebuking him for being so angry. Um, okay. Let me find it on here. There it is. And that will... Um, he needs to make a uh, a will save. A will save. Yeah. Uh, versus thirty, he fails. Ah, on a failure, uh, each time the target uses an action that deals damage to at least one good creature, the target takes. Um, it's going to be sixty-six good good damage. Okay. So you, you chastise him for his evil spinning ways. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, lay hands myself to get back 36 hit points. Okay. Uh, you, yeah. And I'm done. Shield hand placed on breast. Heal yourself. Greshi. All right. Uh, we will drop Phelan... Just over here to our left, to the west. Okay. And dismiss the enchantment on his collar, so he becomes large size. So it is still dark. Um, mm -hmm. Does fairy fire can't be concealed? I mean, uh, lights him up in the dark. Okay. I don't know if yeah, that yeah. means he can see much better, but. I should be able to see the target at least. So, sorry, where do you put him? Right there. Okay. And expand him. All right. And Phelan with my drops on the ice this and grows to a big size. Oof. Mm -hmm. With my other two actions this round, I will cast slow on the black monk, and see if we can get him to chill out a bit. All right, this is a will save. He needs to make it fortitude. Uh, fortitude save, DC 31. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, that is a critical success. The 43. Well, fuck. All right, uh, nothing happens then. Um, so you focus your magical failing... energies. The air around him begins to slow. The, his The, the wraps begin to kind of... Uh, uh, floats more slowly, I guess, but he that just kind of breaks out of it mm -hmm. uh, before you're able to trap him in the in the time dilation. Oh, that was unfortunate. So expensive. Uh, so I suppose Phelan would try and get in con into position near whatever this glowy thing is. Okay, uh, Phelan will also have to balance uh, if he's going to move. So acrobatics check. Acrobatics. That's Grashy, I need Phelan. There we are. Oh, natural one for a total of 20. 
Okay, he starts trying to move. He doesn't realize yet that the floor is ice, and he's just doing that doggy thing on like hardwood floor where he's just like <laughs> scraping, trying to move, and just ends up uh, like falling prone instead. Oh. Poor Phelan. All right. And his turn ends. Oh, that was Grushy's turn. Not much happened. <laughs> Asher. Phelan is here. Something. Oh, Phelan. my time to try and move. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have anything for uneven ground, but I do have, unless it's magical, the terrain is difficult. It's fine for me. Yeah, it's not It's not quite magical is difficult terrain. Magical? <laughs> what does quite magical mean? <laughs> it's like half magic. Half sees magic. <laughs> you know. What a model so, of wizard club magic is making the room cold, but the ice is itself is not magical in any way. Uh, to move, it is an acrobatics check to balance. Okay. Good luck to me. Oh, and you were 38. I should have said this before, but you're always flat footed while on uneven ground like ice. Uh, 38 is a success. Okay. Flat foot so, of being minus two AC? Mm hmm. Or just. Yes. Oh. So, yeah, uh, success, you can move up to your speed, treating it as difficult terrain, but you don't treat difficult terrain as difficult terrain. So, uh, Asher slides his way to the back of the room. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. And I will take out my bow because I was just climbing around. And all right. I will take a hunted shot or not yeah hunted shot at mm, have you yeah. hunted him yet for right now no i haven't hunted him yet i'll do i think i'll do that next turn i'll take the time to shoot i think you can't you can only use hunted shot on uh a, a target that's already been marked mm, no i think we figured out last time that it was Did fine we? it doesn't have any words about it oh okay Uh, double quadruple check. Oh, yeah. It doesn't actually care. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot. It's, we probably yeah, did cover that like last time. It seems like it should. <laughs> it <doesn't>. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do remember the last time we did this. We're like, does it? And it doesn't. Yeah. It, so. Ignore me. Continue. <laughs> so Asher, yeah, slides up against <laughs> well, the back wall, draws weapon. his bow, pulls out two arrows, fires both right. at the same time. Let's remember our volley. Probably not. And hit with that one. There's a 26 and a 35. And a 26 and a 35. Uh, neither shot connects. Uh, the 35 comes really close, but just barely misses him. Uh, the 26 just goes. He's he's way too fast for that. What a fast lad. Oh my. The fast spinny boy. Uh, that the end of your turn. Move, draw, shot. All right. Uh, it is the Black Monk's turn. Um, I forgot to roll the thing. Mark that. And that. Okay. The Monk. Mm -hmm. Angry. Uh, he will... Start with a flurry on gun. Big one first, the little one. Uh, that is a 38 to hit for the first attack. That's so, a regular hit. Yep, that would be effectively a 40. And the second one is uh, that. I'll add the two, but then subtract. Uh, that uh, twenty-eight to hit on the second attack with flanking or with flat-footed. That one's a that one's a miss. Okay, so only one of those two hits. Uh, in that case, where's your damage? That much. That plus uh, that's easy. Thirty mm -hmm. points of bludgeoning damage from the uh, from the strike, and one fortitude save. Thirty-eight or thirty. Thirty. 30 flat. Okay. Um, I think I will just... Yeah, I'll just... 
Mm. I'm going to try and block that with my shield. Okay. Um, which will protect me from... Uh, let's see how much that reduces that by. I got a, I got a new shield-ish recently. I think it's 13, but I'm trying to find it. There it is. Yep, 13. So that leaves 17, 17 for me. Okay. 13 went into the shield. All right. Uh, so he, yeah, he lays into you with uh, two uh, quick flicks of his uh, wrapped legs uh, and then glides uh, effortlessly across the ice uh, towards Ooh. Asher. Uh, and I didn't even hit my, you. Uh, oh, my shitty rolls. He takes 12 points of good damage oh, from you're hitting right. me. Uh, he does take the 12 points of good. All right. Uh, yeah, you, his body sears uh, with each strike against you. Uh, but he is going to glide over towards the source of the arrows um, and uh, curse as he strikes Asher. Uh, oh, I need a fortitude save from gun. Do I understand his curse? <laughs> oh, uh, possibly. I will do. Uh, is that a fort mean, save? rude word? Fort save is 35. 35. That is a success. You are fine. Uh, 36 to hit Asher. Uh, I'm sure that hits. It does, but it's not a crit. Okay. Um, you hear amongst the words that he's like muttering to himself, uh, you think you hear the word for library. Ooh, he's a reader. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, Another thing we don't have in common, I'm damage. alive. Uh, give me a fortitude save as well while I roll the damage for you. Give me that fort. A natural Oof. 20 for a 43. All right, you are fine for that part, but you take 26 points of bludgeoning damage from the strike um, as he just kind of ah. he just flies headfirst at you uh, and smashes you in the chest. Gun. Escher is also good aligned, right? Yes. Uh, yes, then that's true. He's going to take uh, another blast from from this for 21 yeah, points hurt. of good damage. 21 points of good damage uh, erupts from uh, it smoked. <laughs> his his head where the bandages are like seared in this holy light. Um, he <laughs> kind of shakes it off and the green mist just continues to pour, pour out of him. Uh, gun. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to move with a balance check here, acrobatics. I got a 16, so 32. 32, uh, you can move uh, move your speed, but it's difficult terrain. One, two, three, that's enough to get me right here between Greshi and adjacent to Asher, almost adjacent, adjacent to the monk. Right. Uh, so I'll go ahead and draw his attention back by saying oh no you don't and I have only a 31 to, to hit okay you slash at him but, for a 31 uh, that, uh, that is a miss as he uh, darts out of the way just in time uh, alright then I can't use the Litany again. He is immune to it for a minute. Um, I'm just going to have to go for a, another strike attempt. That's okay. all I got. And it's a much worse miss. So. Okay, 22. You try to distract him with your total. blade. Uh, but he deftly dodges out of the way. Greshi. All right. Uh, Greshi's going to encourage Phelan to get about it. So... He'll pop back up with his first action, and then will attempt to balance with his second, so he can perhaps get into position. That's another natural no, one. 
He's <laughs> <laughs> like, no. trying. He's trying. <laughs> his poor little, oh, well, his poor gigantic puppy paws, uh, <laughs> slipping, sliding on the ice. Uh, he falls flat uh, yet again. <laughs> He's, he's just flat on his stomach, kind of sliding across the ice. Oh, poor boy. Well, that's unfortunate, though. Um, uh, that was an action to do that. Yeah, and when you dead. when you crit fail, a balance check his turn ends, even if he had a third. Oh, hi. Well, that's fine. I only had given them two because I was going to cast a spell here. And I think we're just going to bop some health back into Gun here. Fourth level heal spell. We'll conjure some energy into our hands and then just kind of shoot it towards his back. That's uh, 54 points of healing for you, Gun. All right. That is mighty nice. Good juice. Help a bit. Asher. I He's rarely... right on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a library. Uh, ah, well, I'm gonna hunt prey him this time. So All right. I can be... Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. Um, I'll tr I'm gonna try and move again. Uh, so that's acrobatics. Yep, acrobatics. Okay. Try our best. Uh oh, I fall. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe reroll that number. That's gonna no. cost your whole turn. If, no, yeah, you it, it, a critical fail on balance will cost your whole turn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but I. Mm, maybe if I'm on the ground, he can't kick me. <laughs> he can kick you easier. He can kick you better. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I'll reroll it. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the second I, like, one, I believe. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 32. 32. Okay, so I you... I to hope for it. Asher, you turn and start to move. You, like, start to lose your footing, but uh, manage to catch yourself just in the nick of time. 32 is a success. You can move your speed on the ice. You know what? I'm going to actually... I have a pretty... Ha half speed, speed, right? Oh, wait, no, he can move half speed. Full he can move half full speed. Asher, like he's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's fancy foot. He's a ranger. Eh. <laughs> no, like, no. Uh, what? I can't say anything. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I hunt prey, I moved. I, I'm going to try and shoot him again with my unvolleyed. At least this isn't going well. Okay, nope. you kind of slide uh, okay. behind both of your 22. allies. 27, 22, neither of those hits. Uh, the arrows go flying past Gun and the others, uh, striking the wall. If his, like, it's going very bad, AC very is what I think it is, I'm going to have a real hard time. Okay, the monk's well, turn. We're rolling five on the die. I mean, yeah. that's just unfortunate. I think I have to roll over like a 15 to hit. Uh, pretty bad. First action is going to be oh, a wow. flurry. So again, he starts flipping around in the air, uh, swinging his entire body into his attacks. Uh, the big guy is the first attack. That's nice. That is a uh, 44 to hit. Is it? Yes. <laughs> um, I, I will raise my shield so that that's not a crit. Okay. Um, and then that makes this one... Uh, we do minus that plus that is a 41 to hit. Um, That's so, two hits. So both of those just hit, not crit. Uh, do, do, do. Correct. Give me a fortitude save, please. It'll actually be two fortitude saves again. This doesn't, you don't get immunity to this? Mm, nope. A 39 and a 42, so... There's where all my good rolls are going. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's necessary where it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, you succeed against the first thing, and you... What was the second one? 42? Uh, okay. Yeah, you succeed against that one as well. Um, I think I'm okay. like... Uh, 43 points of bludgeoning damage. Plus, plus. Mm -hmm. 
from the flurry. So yeah, 43. And that counts as one attack? Yes, that counts two. as one combined attack. All right. Monks are bullshit, as the chat says. <laughs> um, and then, uh, now that he's got it back, uh, he breathes in deeply and exhales again this uh, dark green mist um, into the nice little cone of everybody who's here. So I need fortitude saves from everybody. Oh, sorry, reflex. Reflex saves from everyone. Well. Uh, Greshi's got some 39... Reshi has 39, Asher has a 40, Gun has a 22. I'm, I'm doing a reroll on Greshi, or on Phelan's fucking third natural one in a row. Thank you. 35 <laughs> for Phelan. Poor Phelan. I use my hero point because I'm done with that. Gun has a 22. Okay, so Gun fails. Um, <sighs> everyone else succeeds, but does not crit succeed. Um, so that would be. I think I, I do effect. crit succeed, because okay. I have evasion. All right. Oh, uh, nice. So the crit succeed Phelan does doesn't crit succeed. It's basically sentence. Sure. Uh, the crit success uh, takes no damage. The failures take. Um, where was it? Uh, Fifty-one points of negative damage. And that is that. Oh, success takes half of that, die. sorry. So, yeah, 51 half. I was going to say, I think that's 25. 25. Yeah. All right. After that, gun, you're up. Oh, this is a mess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my fate points on this attack. All right. That's plus seven. And swing my blade at him for a... 44. Uh, 44 will hit, but is not a crit. Okay. Nothing else I can do to boost that, I don't think. Not at this point, no. Not really. Um, but that should do 30, 30 points of damage. All right, 30 points of damage as you uh, strike hard. Um, you can tell that this guy is... Though his though he is entirely wrapped, you can tell that he is a very seasoned fighter. Um, his martial arts prowess far exceeds your own. So you you kind of step up, you focus, um, you say a, a prayer to a rastal, and let your blade fly true. Um, it hits home. Two more actions. I'll do another um, lay on hands here. Back up. All right, you squeeze your sword and shield grip. Um, feel another pulse of healing energy to keep you in the fight, leaving you at zero and... focus points. Yep. And with my last action. A second attack is has an unreasonably low chance of. I'm going to go with um, an intimidate. I'm going to go with a, a what's it called? Uh, demoralize. Demoralize. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Uh, so that'll be an intimidation check. That should be versus his will DC. Yeah. Uh, I think for it. it. There it is. Got it right here. This I'm a language. A natural one. That's a okay. good time to roll a natural one. <laughs> yes, and since uh, the you fact have that to... he doesn't understand my language doesn't impede, him, <laughs> impede me because I have. Uh, oh, you have a feat for that. Uh, okay, what's it called? Intimidating glare. Right. But uh, but <laughs> in this case, it's not a very intimidating glare as I <laughs> wobble on my on the ice. Yeah, you you glare at him and like slip and lose your footing a little bit, try to readjust. He is not afraid of you in the slightest. <laughs> Greshy. <laughs> I am going to take a gamble, but I think it's going to be okay. Damn, Greshy. 
I'm going to cast a fifth level heal as a three action spell, which will hit everybody, including Mr. I think he's undead. I hope he's undead. All right. Because if he's undead, he should actually take damage. Is that the right dice? Five, eight. Um, but I believe 27 points of damage, and if it's undead, it needs to make a DC 31 fort save. Uh, it does. You see it shy away from the healing blast of energy as you clap your hands together. That is a natural one. Uh... <laughs> All right. So it takes double that. Wait, he doesn't succeed uh, on a natural one, does he? No, not quite. Almost. It's not returned anyway. It's almost. almost. All right. <laughs> so so 50, sorry, that's double that. Fifty-one points of. Oof. Fifty-four. Yeah, or fifty-four points. Thank you. Total for damage, and everyone else will heal twenty-seven. So oh, he does have. You have to full. Oh, he is just shy of <laughs> succeeding on a failure. Damn it, <laughs> on a crit fail. Okay. Uh, yes, he he definitely he like turns away, uh, trying to sh clearly trying to shield the the scroll case that he's carrying uh, from the blast mm -hmm. of healing energy. You watch his yeah his, his whole body just kind of is singed um, with holy light that kind of lingers on his on his frame. He is very clearly undead. All right, and with Phelan's single action this round, he's going to slowly, very carefully push himself back up to his paws, slip, grab himself, and kind of stand up tall, and that'll be it. All right, Asher. I don't like this guy. That's it. <laughs> okay. He hisses uh, again. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use... Don't hiss at me. Hiss. <laughs> I hiss. Is that library? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not sure what that... His library back at him. Whatever he just did. <laughs> uh, you, you can try, yeah. Um, <laughs> get him, da. It says back at you. You have no idea what he's saying. I tried. <laughs> did that take up it? Uh, no, 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 no. Did that take up time? Okay, I was like, oh, shit. Um... Let's see. I'm going to use my fate points to hope that they help and use my Eldritch Shot with a Produce Flame on it to hope that helps. Who knows if it will hit. Give okay. me strength. Chat. Seven fate points. Oh no, chat. What What have you done? <laughs> 34. 34 is not <laughs> enough to hit. <laughs> No, I needed the strength. <laughs> All right, that's my whole. What time. about no? You don't get a bonus from. Um, do you have a hunted shot or anything? You do have stuff? a second hero point. The the one from. My one hero. How's point. How's this guy looking? Is he starting yeah, to feel at least looking? a little bit shredded? Bell? Um, yeah, he's looking a little bit shredded. Uh, from he's been seared by holy light a couple times. He's he's not on his last legs, but. Uh, I mean, his legs are Except currently wrapped literally. up. Yeah. <laughs> You're not entirely sure he has legs under there at all. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, Battle should asses. I use my reroll? Ah. It's up to you. Gonna, I'll use my second one. Goodbye, okay. second one. So you uh, Chat kind of a flash. You, you blink your eyes remembering uh, Miriana's uh, just love of nature. Uh, go and roll that again. One. Don't say that yet before I get my nat one, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pretend it's gonna be cool. <laughs> Here we go. 37. 37 <laughs> will enough. hit. Like, that better be enough. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a nice enough. normal hit for me. Let's do... And I have Hunt Prey, which is 2d8 plus the... And we're doing Frost first, then Flame. Yeah. And then I have my spell. Which is a 
nine. It should be good to go. We're at 19. Okay, uh, so let's see. We do 16 points of damage from the piercing, another eight from the hunted shot. Uh, that is four plus one, so five damage from the frost and flame. Um, as the flame of the arrow connects, uh, that triggers his weakness to flame. Uh, his, the rags catch fire uh, and just go up in a, a big burst, uh, in addition to a second burst from the produced flame, which does another 19 points of fire damage and trigger the weakness a second time. Uh, he is now a spinning inferno. <laughs> Oh no! I've only made him stronger. <laughs> uh, the the flames subside very quickly, uh, but okay. he is quite heavily singed, even blacker than before. He has become the, the black. blacker That's monk. My... <laughs> it's my turn and all my hero points. All right, it is Good the blacker luck. monk's turn. Uh, he hisses again. Garaunda. We will deal with the foe that's in front of him. Attack. Attack, attack. Uh, bigger one is the first one. I mean, bigger die. Literally bigger die. Uh, 34 on the first hit. Uh, plus two, so 36. I will raise my shield with a reaction. Okay. So 36, but 36 well, will hit. And that still hits. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the second one. But either way. Rerolled that. The oh. second attack does not hit then. Never mind. I can't. All right. I'm going to save my uh, my reaction though and not raise my shield since it doesn't make a direct difference. Uh, it does make a difference on the second attack. Oh, okay. Then done. Okay. Yeah, so the uh, if you raise your shield, the first one hits, the second one doesn't. If you don't raise your shield, both attacks hit. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, okay. I'll, I'll block the second one. All right, in that case, uh, that, plus that. Uh, you take 29 points of bludgeoning damage from the strike. So he, again, he tries to get two strikes in with his flurry. That? I'll go ahead and do an actual shield. Actually, no, I won't. I won't do an actual shield block as well. Okay. I'll save that reaction in case he goes dodging after Asher again. Stay away from me, I'll stab him. Wait, no, Black Asher's arrow. too far, so I'll, I'll, I'll block that one as well. Okay. Um, yep, so 29 minus the... Reducing what? it by 13. 13, so take 16 points of bludgeoning. Uh, give me one fortitude yep. save from that, uh, and he will... Do some other things. Glide around Port you. Save. The 35. 35, um, you are fine. I harass him with my shield as he glides around me. That makes it just greater difficult or difficult? Difficult terrain. Difficult? Okay. Difficult. So he, he will fly and just kind of stop then right by Greshi uh, and go for a strike on him. Um, so I feel this. like this is a mistake. You probably shouldn't do this. Oop. Try that. Uh, plus that minus this is his third attack. Uh, Thirty-six to hit. That does hit. That is not a crit. Okay. Um, in that case, second verse same as the first. Twenty-two points of bludgeoning damage, and I need a fort save. All right. That okay. fort is up here. And then guns turn. Oh, that's a bad roll. That's only a 25. Mm hmm. You finally got a failure. I did. That's cool. All right, gun's turn. Let's take a note for later. <laughs> nothing. Very bad. <laughs> nothing that we know of. Yeah, nothing's happened right away. No, okay. Yeah. He just I, became unblind. I actually have suspicions, but I don't know if Greshi has any <laughs> ideas. So. No, Greshi has no idea. Um, at least currently. No idea. Okay. You well, have no idea I'll even anything feels. Nothing feels wrong. Nothing feels weird. 
No, I just breathed in some blood. It was not pleasant. He's moved around me, but uh, I will try to... Uh, I'll turn to face him. And then I'll go for another strike. Okay. Trying to get his attention to focus on me. 41. 41 will hit. Roll damage. I have 19 points. 19 points of damage. Uh, you strike true. You see that he's slowed down quite a bit, and you, you catch him off guard as he turns to strike at Greshi there. Or as he turned to strike at Greshi there. Continue. Oh, um, I forgot to do a thing. At the start of my turn, I was supposed to do Desperate Prayer as a free action if you're out of um, focus points once a day. Oh, say a desperate sure. prayer, gain back one it. focus point. Yep, that's fine. Say a little prayer for you. Say a little prayer for a rastal. All right. Um, you throw the horns in your mind. But I think, I think I will save that for the moment. It's good to have it ready again. Um, I'll try to demoralize him again. Okay. I will... Uh... Now look, I know that wasn't very pressing, but I have been hitting this guy and dealing quite a bit of damage, so I will growl menacingly at him um, mm. with a 30 against his will. Okay, uh, you growl menacingly at him. You do draw his attention, but he doesn't seem... You, you don't sense any fear in those glowing green eyes of his. Okay. All right. Then, uh, with one remaining action, I don't really have anything better to do, so I, I will go ahead and... Uh, Fish for the 20. Sure. Going fishing, didn't get it. Oh. Okay. All right, you go for a lucky the swing. Virtual uh, dice made it look like it was going <laughs> to, but. 26 is not good enough. Roll rushy. All right, uh, first action, we're going to mount Phelan. All right. So I'm. Uh, second action. Actually, you know what? Second and third action both uh, will give to Phelan and have him attempt to do something with this uh, monk here. All right. So first action for Phelan will to be to do a balance check. This, I was going to say, does he have reach? That's a 26. Uh, 26 is a failure. This is this ice is really slippery. Um, okay, so... On a failure... Uh, you must remain stationary to keep your balance, or you can move the whole and turn. Or? Slide. No, no, you uh, you just lose that action. Okay. If you want to move, you uh, can, but you'll he'll fall prone. Oh well, that's against the purpose here. Those All poor right. little paw pads one, aren't used to the is ice. the same fucking roll. He's so trying. He's just going to spend <laughs> whole fucking round. I rolled three <laughs> sevens in a row. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> three sevens for 26, 26, 26. One, one, one. Oh, I thought it was going. I thought okay. it was going. I thought it was going. I thought it was going. One 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 seven 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 seventeen. <laughs> There's some conspiracy going on here, and I don't like it. Anyway, Sorry, I, I hacked. Attempts the... to try and move forward, it gets absolutely nowhere. Yeah, Phelan, you're trying to command him, uh, but he's just slipping. <laughs> he's, trying so he's, he's trying. He's trying so hard to stay upright. So Asher, he's not built for this. I can't fucking. Meanwhile, I'm here comedically <laughs> shooting arrows. <laughs> Whether or not they hit is a mystery. You hit on the last uh, one. Doing damage, so. <laughs> the flames. Yeah, the flames do a good job. I got heavenly help on the last time. Not for Asher. He doesn't believe in heaven. <laughs> but for me. Nah, you just got. Um, the, it was luck. It was fool's luck. 
Could I try? Because I could put... That's my cool spell. He certainly can beat my pure spell. Mm. I am going to try... And I have four fate points. Let's try that again with Eldritch Shot with the flame. Okay, you try another try produce flame shot. Plus four. We rub our hands together for luck. Pew! Not, probably not quite. 35. No, 35 is not quite enough. Uh, the flaming shot uh, just barely grazes him. It uh, catches a few little strands of uh, tissue on fire, but not enough to, to damage him. And I think that's your turn. Okay, we got close. Yep. Round six, uh, the monk's turn. Um, let's see. Again, he will kind of dance around you um, to there. Um, gun. So he f f slides around to the opposite side of you. Uh, and again, will right. take a deep breath and breathe out that uh, noxious mist. Um, I think everyone is still... Yeah, everyone is still within range, so give me reflex saves. Twenty-seven. Ooh, a natural twenty for forty-three. A thirty-three for Greshi and reflex is up here. A seven? Oh, a forty for uh Phelan. Okay. Uh where's where do I put my DC? There it is. Okay. Um, so that is Asher crit succeeds. Um, that's the only crit success. I mean, Greshi's becomes if it is a regular. I guess it might not be. Uh, oh, does Greshi have that on reflex saves? Uh, if it's a necromancy spell. Oh, if I it's a necromancy spell. Uh, I see. Uh, that is a failure, um, the 33. Uh, the 40 is a success okay, for Phelan. The 27 is a failure. Um, so Gun and Greshi both fail. You take 56 points of negative damage. Uh, Asher, you manage to jump behind Phelan. Uh, Phelan manages to resist uh, much of it. So he takes half of that for 28. I would never use Phelan as a shield. Okay, well, you use the alcove He's then big, behind you. <laughs> I just stand in it, and I'm like, I am so used to smelly things, being a so smelly was... man myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it was move and then exhale breath. All right, gun. So roll that. Okay. Um, I will continue dueling this fellow. Uh, I've got a 19 on the dice for 42. That'll hit. Roll damage. That's good. And 30 points. 30 points. You managed to catch him like right, uh, right in the shoulder blade. Uh, it digs deep into his chest. Uh, looks like it does quite a lot of damage, uh, but he rests himself free. Uh, Black blood drips onto the floor below and, like, uh, immediately curdles um, and uh, mm. blasts away in a, a little green mist. Um, he's looking pretty bad. Action two. Fishing for that 20. Ooh, almost a, a 35. We I think we already said that doesn't hit. Uh, does not hit for a, yeah 17 for a 35 you uh, make a quick slice towards his neck trying to end him uh, but he manages to dodge just in the nick of time uh, just taking a slight scrape right. instead perfect um, I'll use my last action to heal myself again with my focus point that I regained okay so lay on hands um, get back 36 more Greshi all right. Um, I 
I feel like it wouldn't go particularly well since he seems like he's a quick bugger. But... The strange chanting is kind of twisted into howling noises at this point. Completely unintelligible. It's very uncomfortable listening to that. Alright, uh, we are going to just try and produce flame at him. So we'll create a little ball of fire in our hands and shoot it forward to see if we can kind of aim at him. That attack roll here. Uh, 37 to hit. Okay, 37 hits for 21 points of fire damage plus weakness. Uh, the fire catches him uh, on the side. He howls in pain. You watch as like, uh, almost like a spirit leaves his body um, as the flames embroil him. Um, the tome, or the, not tome, the uh, strange uh, scroll case that he's holding. Scroll uh, case? Yeah, uh, begins to uh, like loosen from his grasp and uh, hits the floor, um, the ice gently uh, with a clink. That is combat. Oh. Like As the guy. the rags no, kind of just pleasant. fall to the ground and uh, just continue to burn. Is the scroll case burning? Uh, the scroll case itself is not burning. Um, it is. It's kind of like landed and rolled a few feet away from him. Okay. Curse. Uh, as long as it's cow. not burning, I'm not gonna pick it up uh, or touch it. But uh, I'll watch and try to see if, to make sure it doesn't burn. If it starts to burn, I would probably try to either kick it or shove it aside somehow. Sure. It's already kind of rolled far enough away from him that it's not a problem. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the corpse um, in that case, burns. Whew. Wow. Well done, Greshi. And Asher and all of us, really, but that was a nice coup de gras there. Got worse. Asher, Greshi, Phelan, give me fortitude saves. Asher, Greshi, Phelan, Witcher, and Herbs here. Uh, that is terrible for Greshi. That's a 24 total. 30. And for Phelan, fortitude. See that roll around. Uh, 36 or failing. 36 or failing. All right. Uh, what do we call this? That's just. Uh, do, 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 Greshi. Uh, so the th all of you now that the adrenaline of combat has died down, kind of you get hit by just how cold it is in this room. Um. <clears throat> And Greshi, that that chill gives you take uh, you take five points of cold damage. Oh, all right. Gun it's had already taken. Clear, this is despite started. the fact we're wearing. Yes, oh. this is. I was going to say despite your. Weather. Okay. Yeah, this is more extreme than what gotcha, gotcha. your clothes. Uh, I did reduce the damage already. Super to extreme. account for the winter clothes. This is ultimate damage anyway um oh. we should probably get out of here <laughs> well the first place i'm looking is the cough is the sarcophagus did anything change over there i assume uh, these were the remains and he was or I, I should say i believe these were his remains and not some kind of um illusion or or uh what's the word conjuration yeah, if you if you kind of brush so, the cloths uh, went to, aside with your sword, you can see that there are bones there amidst the uh, uh, bones and rotted, like long rotted flesh uh, amidst the yeah. rags. So I doesn't seem like he'll be coming back to life if we go and have a quick look. So I'm going to try and move across to where the sarcophagus is. Okay, uh, give me acrobatics. Thirty-one. Okay. Yeah, you you carefully stomp your way over uh, to the 
to the uh, now emptied sarcophagus um, and peer inside. Um, inside are uh, what look like they were probably once very fine plush cushions of an emerald green um, hue, but they have long rotted away. Um, they are covered in a, a layer of frost, but nothing else remains in that. Nothing else? Yeah. Okay. No writing or any anything that I can see? Um, there is writing along the uh, edges of the sarcophagus itself. Um, they look like strange ancient runes of a language you don't understand. Asher can recognize the runes as Thessalonium yeah. very easily. Asher, can you make anything of this? Look, there's there are writing on the, on the rim of this coffin. Cartoonishly slide over there. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop making you guys do the acrobatics checks but y if you walk very carefully oh, outside of I, combat I want to oh, go for it go for it acrobatics stumble around <laughs> <laughs> yeah I want the possibility of sliding <laughs> ba, 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 da, ba, ba. take those all oh, 32. 32 okay you, you do like a, a graceful slide across um woo <laughs> and uh, yeah, what, what were you doing over there? Like... Oh, you're looking at the. Room. I was That's trying right. to see if I could recognize any of the words in my very <laughs> small knowledge, half C knowledge. Um, give me a society check then. Oh boy, my best skill. Oof. The seventeen. Oof. Uh, you don't. You you see the the word for monk again somewhere in there, um, or the the rune for monk, but yeah, these other ones you're not sure. Are they? Um, I don't know what the word is when it's like written on a gravestone and it's kind of indented. Is that how they're written? Uh, or is it like like engraved? Yeah, I, yeah, they're carved yeah. into the stone. Oh crap, I don't think I have a pencil. <laughs> I have paper. Kay. I don't know if that technique would work without a pencil though. Okay. The only If someone has chalk, you could use chalk. I might be able to tell. Look, I do have some Uh-oh. Adam has over a piece of Asher Asher. It's Asher. You were robot. I do have sex, chalk. But... I'll hand over a piece if Asher right. uh would like it. Yeah, I want to um, make a rubbing of this. And the question I'm asking myself that I can probably, this is probably the least I can tell, is um, is the writing on this coffin different or the same as the other ones? Um, as you look around in the now dark room, but you guys have dark vision, um, Looking at the other sarcophagi, they seem to be fairly similar. Um, the They're all definitely made of the same style. The runes seem to be largely positioned in the same way. There's some minor differences between them. Um, but you probably wouldn't know what those differences so, are. Actually, give I me mean, a religion I, check. Give I, me a religion check. I don't... Yeah, well, oh, good question. All right, religion. Um... 34. 34. Um, being a holy person, you are familiar with, like, burial rites and that sort of thing. Um, the, the spaces that are different are probably... Your guess is they're either names or titles um, or ranks of individuals within a faith. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And... You actually recognize a little bit of this. There's, in addition to the um, the runes themselves, you recognize that some of the markings are actually religious symbols. Um, you don't know Any much. Any sign of the 
about it, but it seems to be you. You remember there being uh, in in your uh, I think in the very beginning of the game you were like reading some books on other religions at the church. Um, you remember some obscure religion about uh, a peacock god, um, something like that. Um, hmm. You don't know much about it offhand, but some of the symbols remind you of that. Any sign of the septahedron on um, any of these, or whatever it is called, the seven point star? Uh, yeah, the. Uh, now you've messed me up. The uh, sahedron. Um, sahedron. There's there aren't any immediate uh, sahedrons that you can see, but you do notice that the room itself is arranged in seven points. Yes. Um, if I look at the runes that I've identified as a rank or name marker, um, are any of, basically, I'm not saying I know what they mean, but are any of them the same? Like, for instance, these two are the same, and these two are the same. And... Uh, you're roboting like, a bit, but I how many... get the... Um, the one in the How center here different... is very different. Um, otherwise, they're pairwise okay. across the chamber. So the top left and top right are the same. The middle left and middle right oh, okay. are the same. The bottom left and the bottom right are the same. Okay. So that makes them seem like ranks rather than names, and this guy was clearly, from the positioning, the most important. And then the other sarcophagi are lower ranked members of probably the same faith um remembering something about a a god with the form of a peacock peacock i've never seen a peacock i don't know You're with any anything more than that gods. i would Shailen know does a bird i think but i thought it was like a songbird I don't know if the god itself was evil or if the um, the followers were turned after death, unfortunately. But it seems like the only thing here to check on else are the scrolls in that case. They'd have writing on them that I could try to read. I love learning. I'm sure. Let's take a look at that. I'll slowly skate down the Gresham. While he's okay. doing that, can I read Aura on it to see if it's a if it, the case itself is magical? Uh, oh yes, the case itself is definitely magical. Um, Interesting. Let me. It's gonna be cursed. Bring my note. Let's get cursed. Let's get cursed together. Let's every four. get cursed. All of us put our hands in. We'll touch it at the same time. <laughs> Everyone hands, touch it all at once. It's one of those cursed ones that talks to you. I and mean, we can all hear it. Library. Uh, there we go. Support your local library. That's what he was saying. Uh, where'd it go? This. Uh, that it? There we go. Okay. Um, oh, that is a good question, actually. What school of magic is this? Um, I want to say it's necromancy offhand, but let me see if I can confirm that for you. Yes, necromancy. That's a little concerning, actually. Um, Isn't healing also necromancy? It is oh, actually, no. You get all schools. It's it's every school. 
The players are level 12 currently. Iolius. Iolus? Ilolos. I shouldn't try that. Lolos. We can't we can't tell because <laughs> <laughs> they're either I's or L's. Uh, but yes, uh, you get uh, well, actually the first every one might be in. every school of magic is emanating from this uh, thing from the case itself. Um, you're not yeah. entirely sure if it's the case or if it's the things within it. What um, if we wrap it up and cart it up to the upstairs before we take that's a look? Probably for the best. We should not stay here. Not sure it's safe for upstairs either, but at least we're not cold. Balin, could you stop laying on the the, the ground? <laughs> Come here. Balin gets he up. He did and... his best the whole time. He did. He did. He just understandably got tired of trying to stand up on the ice. I'll shrink him back down and put him in my pocket. And then I guess we'll carry this stuff upstairs and uh, take a look and see. Okay. Uh, assuming that everybody does so. Uh, yep. I don't want to stay down with bones. Mr. Bojangles. Uh, we'll bones guy. Put you in the darkness. There we go. All right. You all climb back up the the rope um, to reach the top there. Um, I need to little thing. Go a sure rock that I'm okay. Sorry if I worried you, about, pal. Okay. Well, I'll tell him. I'll actually tell him all about okay. what just happened. Sure. Yeah, Rock will we like, fought hop with down some from kind the of. Uh, I'll give him the full details, the play-by-play. -play. Okay. Uh, while that's happening, yeah, you guys. Uh, I guess someone closes the trap door, and the cold air ceases to mm -hmm. enter Pick the chamber. It closed. <laughs> yeah. Sick of it's gross, it's cold, and there was a stinky mummy in it. <laughs> You're complaining about something being gross. It was pretty gross. I didn't think it was that gross. I, <laughs> Considering all my reflex saves were good, I just kind of stood in it. and it, it had the potential to be grosser, is what you're saying. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been grosser. I've been in swamps. I'm, I'm aware. I, I have smelled it. I'm surprised that you all weren't used to it. <laughs> Some days, though, it wafts, and it's it's like a fresh new scent on the breeze. When's the last time you've taken a bath? Uh, I clean myself up on the regular. I don't have. I don't know. It's been oh, quite a while since I've had a bath proper. But... The year probably has water or hot water amenities. Yeah. Yeah, I think the year includes food and water. When did the last have like? A nice thing. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could like bathe in the yurt. If it's nothing else, I have prestidigitation. I can clean myself that way. Ooh. It's it's not quite the same as taking a nice bath, but gets job done. Oh, and I'll put an actual uh, light spell on, let's say one of the bulbs on the banister railing or something like that. Okay, uh, that works. Give the room. Then much I will more collect light. my candles. All right, you go around picking up your candles that are there on the ground pose i will start identifying the th scroll case okay identify just choose something and see what it is i suppose uh this yeah We're chooses, going chooses to go, go with. We're gonna go with religion. Oof, that's another seven. I'm on a roll tonight. Okay, um, uh, twenty-six total. Twenty-six. Uh, you attempt to identify this scroll case, 
Uh, in doing so, you realize that it's not really so much a... a, like, specific magic item, more that it is some kind of puzzle container. Um, in, in holding it, uh, there doesn't appear to be any particular, like, spell or anything that would give off. There's just these number, these large number of runes on a series of five rings, um, uh, that surround the, the scroll case. Um, you can kind of, like, touch a rune, and it'll start to glow, and then you can, like, touch and drag on another ring of the runes and it'll adjust the uh, it's it's like a series of puzzle rings i guess um there doesn't appear to be any kind of effect here other than if you figure out the correct sequence of five runes it would open um yeah okay. it's, it's mostly just a, a puzzle box for the things that I are can contained spend some within. Time playing with it, I suppose. Sure. Because I imagine there'd be something contained within. Activity. Uh, give me. What's what's a good? I guess this would just be a probably a society role or crafting. I would a love crafting. Society role. I would love crafting. You love crafting. All yeah. right. I'll do crafting then. Please roll. Why am I getting lag now? Uh oh, I'm out on the can hear. I think I'm. I think I'm cured of lag. Oh, there we go. Moment. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just around and the time. That's great. It moved to Greshi. I got yeah. <laughs> it's more that now I'm pressing button and nothing happens, and that's. Never so Greshi is over here in the corner fiddling with uh, this thing. What are the uh, gun is filling in rock on what happened downstairs? The, What's the actually black up monk to? fight? I want to watch Greshi, I Greshi do this cool legs. weird puzzle box. <laughs> <laughs> Can I assist by like being like, "Hey, try this combo"? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I would love that. Um, Have you tried six, eight, twelve, four, one? <laughs> <laughs> I would Just allow crafting, <laughs> occultism, or arcana to aid. Or society. Who am I? Have you tried occultism all seven? Occultism is higher by one, so 33. Okay. Um, yeah, Asher probably has read some weird puzzle books. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a bunch of crafting checks. Um, <laughs> well, oh, no. somebody tell me what I got. I the really first one, tell. which is the important one, was a natural one. Uh, as it okay. turns out, you need multiple. So the the natural one for a oh. twenty, um, you you're trying to like select runes uh, and adjust it, and the whole puzzle just kind of resets on you. Uh, you try again for the t uh, natural two for a twenty one. You're adjusting the runes with Asher's help. Um, and again, the whole puzzle resets. Uh, the next two checks, the 30 and 36, you're pretty sure you have the first two of five runes correct. Um, you need three more. All right. Well, if, my com if everything wants to come back up one of these days, I can try again. <laughs> I, I had completely lost connection to World 20. Because uh, when Char rolled, wouldn't show me their roll. So, well, we can well, try so now. To... Maybe it'll work. Or is it? Oh, it's just not. Um, it's completely. Gone. It's slowly loading back up. Okay. It's I'm going to. For roll 20 I'm going rolling. to try and uh, regenerate some focus points. Okay. Perhaps I can be talking to Rock while that happens. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're you regen some focus points at the same time. When enough time has gone by and I can get one, let me know. Oh, that's I can immediately use it. But <laughs> uh, Greshi. 
while you're in the middle of solving this puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Poor Crashy. One, I'm just one more annoyed my came through. Through. Yeah, I'm just annoyed because my computer is just fucking. Oh, maybe something's up with roll twenty. It's not rolling any dice. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was having trouble with it earlier. It might be that. You're, you're getting like a little bit frustrated as you're like trying to figure out these runes, and your your vision kind of blurs for a sec, and you feel just like a slight bit dizzy. You you're, like looking again at the runes on this particular ring on the third ring. Uh, as Asher is like trying out, like thinking about like maybe this one, maybe this one, um, <laughs> and suddenly you just feel like in your chest this like, like it just, just strong like like something's got your heart in a vice grip. Um, you take twenty three points of negative damage, and, that's and you are ideal. stupefied too. Ooh, I love super. Are you kidding me? And I'm sorry, how much damage what did I take? Uh I think, 23 20, points 20. of negative damage. 23, thank you. Your mind is getting really hazy. You're you feel like you just had like a mountain of ale. Everything's starting to go blurry. You're like losing focus. Well, this is splendid. Hmm. I think. I'll, uh... Do I see Greshi, like, wobbling? Yeah, I think it's pretty apparent to both of you that something's wrong with Greshi. He's, Greshi are you his okay? eyes are, like, drooping a little bit. I'm having a hard time staying awake, focused, I guess. Ugh. Feeling a bit out of it. Have I, uh, have I managed to get a focus point back yet? Um, or no? Not, well, not yeah, sure. Why now? Yeah. All right. Um, Okay, so we've been we've been up here for like ten minutes ish. Yeah. While he's fiddling with that. Okay. Um, does he seem off? Um, I guess it's not only mental effects but emotional effects, so that might not work. You can do a medicine check to try and examine him. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a. I have some. There, I have a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um, you, you, uh, do you, do you actually do like a, you, you like have him look at you and like, yeah, like move your finger and stuff. You can sense, like, you can see that clearly his, uh, his vision is lagging a bit. Like he's not quite able to focus and track your finger. Um, something definitely. But other seems than that, he's off. not. He's not acting strange other than that. He's acting concussed. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm just going to go with the lay on hands and try to jolt him back with a little healing burst. Okay. You you place a hand on his forehead and juice him up with some healing energy. Hmm, that's appreciated, I suppose. You if feel better, but through. still, still foggy. I think all twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what the uh, just <laughs> the amount is. Maybe you better sit down for it's thirty six, um, back. But um, maybe you better sit down. Can I? Hmm. Noticing that. What would be the right? Um, I'm not trying to do first aid. I'm trying to like help him recover from this other condition. Is there a um, sit down and take some deep breaths? Is there? Uh, it would require knowing what he's suffering from. But with the twenty-three, you can tell that something's wrong, but you don't know what. Okay. 
is there so there's no action that I can take or have him take to try to cure this effect? Um, directly. Not in, yeah, not unless you have yes. the treat condition okay. feat, um, which okay. would allow you to try yeah, and remove the, the condition. Yeah. I, I know what I could ask him to do in a role playing sense, but like mechanically yeah. is what I'm. Yeah, you can you can tell that sure he is stupefied, this. but you don't know what's. Uh, if you I have something that have can that help that with stupefied, but. Um. Outside of not that, I know that, of. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know of any way that you can remove stupefied yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you know a way, then. <laughs> um, actually. What's it? There is a um. No, I don't have that. I don't have mercy. Can I, I think mercy is what I was thinking of. To try and figure out why he's feeling sick. Sure. I I haven't tried. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? A thirty-six. That's not bad. It's pretty good actually. <laughs> Asher looks him over. <laughs> Nods to himself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, Asher immediately knows what it is. Oh, it's Mummy Rot. <laughs> oh yes, Mummy Rot. I've had this before. Really? I don't think so. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes if you don't bathe for a while and it's wet outside and you've been hanging out with dead corpses, you get a little mummy rot between your toes. <laughs> it's specifically from mummies or anything well, that's been embalmed, but uh, <laughs> you've heard about this. I don't, I don't know where Asher heard this from. Uh, <laughs> maybe in some weird book somewhere, but you immediately, mm, for some reason, you've got the symptoms like right there in your head. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mummy rot. Greshi. That mummy gave you a real kick. Well, it's not great. In fact, it's very hard for me to focus on things. What does mummy rot do? <clears throat> does it just like stupefy and make you feel sick? Is it um, like a he'll... chronic thing? Let's see. I'll it's a it. it's a chronic thing until it gets removed. Um he should only have to like, it he'll get the check again at the end of the day. It can't kill you directly. That's not reassuring in any <laughs> real way. <laughs> but it does make your mind hazy every day. Okay. It just makes everything worse for me doing anything. I do know how stupefied it is. I think I yeah. spent like three days stupefied. <laughs> <laughs> it was not great. How about yeah. before you were trying to cast spells? That's true. Yeah. Maybe we oh. have to set up the year. I missed that. Um, uh oh. Uh, undo. Take 23 points of damage back. You can't heal that damage. Okay, but he had other damage. He did have other damage. But you So he has twenty three points of, of mummy rot damage, damage on him right now. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Does that keep happening every day too, or is it just a one time? Uh that will can that will happen once every day. Unless he saves out of it. Can't can't kill you directly. Asher, how ass. are you feeling? You Sorry, can... it, it can kill you directly. You're not affected? <laughs> I'm like, that seems like a lie. Asher's like, I misspoke. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It can totally kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. I, I, <laughs> My bad. Yeah, I, I missed the line about it can't be it can't be healed. So this is half disease, half curse. Um great. curse. Cool. Awesome. Asher, you're not wow. hurt, are you? You're not. Oh, I feel fit as a fiddle. Let's check Phelan. Let's check everyone for the mummy rot. I'll even check you for it, Gun. <laughs> uh, oh. 
<laughs> Just in case. I, I, I feel fine. Up on I you. feel fine. You take right. some time to to check each fun. of you, um, but no one else seems to be affected other than Greshi. Hmm. Oh wait, you know what makes this really great? What? If this is a curse, I can't do a damn thing about it. Damn it. We have to find a, someone who can. What can you do about curses? Uh, there's a spell called Remove Curse. I don't know how to do that. Yes, this is both a disease and a curse, and you know that you can't get rid of the disease without getting rid of the curse first. Oh my god. Mummy Roth's terrible. Dang. Well, Imagine if we all got Mummy Roth. So, at this point, we definitely need to rest for a while. Um, while we figure out this case and what our next steps would be. Um, I, we can hope that there was no sort of connection between the Black Monk and other people here in this fortress that would mean they're on their way here to find out what happened right away. I feel like he was probably the reason no one was allowed in here. I was, I was wondering if he was somehow giving power to um, the King M. What's his name? Mogmurian. Um, and that his death wouldn't have retracted that power or caused some spells to end uh, and thus alerted them to something being wrong right away. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, I feel like they would have burst in by now. Excuse <clears throat> me. So, by the time we manage to recover ourselves, um, it might be best if we just spend the rest of the day here trying to figure out what's going on with these scrolls and then maybe tomorrow we can fix Greshi again and go after the the Lamia next how does Greshi get fixed the next day it's, it's a roll every day right uh, for something the roll is I'm out of character guessing my guess would be that the roll doesn't cure it just means whether or not you're stupid that day uh, yes and you have to keep re-rolling okay. every minute <laughs> oh oh until you until you until finally get stupid yeah. and then Ugh. I see. You have so you have some delayed onset at the beginning, but it eventually will hit you probably. So you're yeah, you're going to be hit each day until we can cure you. I have you. no way to remove curse. Whew. Well, maybe there's one in the scroll case. If we're lucky. <laughs> maybe there is. That is a good point. Or maybe we can send away to um Serenzel Plum for one. Well, before I got knocked in the head by this curse, I did get a 34 on a crafting check. <laughs> if we want to add that to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did sure. we get a third? Small yeah, you have, successes. you have three, three of the rings are correct. Nice. Or seem to be holding. That's great. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can get Roll Touch to open my character sheet. We'll see. Maybe... You were kind of like in just in the middle of doing that one when the when the headache hit. Oh, and now this one's gonna take me a while to figure out, but we'll see if that rolls or not. So it's hanging out and guessing not, but you know we'll see. So continue on for five minutes or whatever it takes for the <laughs> roll to come through. Uh, I can try rolling for you. If you can. She doesn't. Oh, there it is. And there's Wills. 
Uh, the 36 will give you a fourth slot. The 29 will not, but does not reset the puzzle. Uh, I can roll again for right. you if you want. How I'm long sure. is each attempt taking, roughly? Uh, each attempt takes, uh, like, five minutes. So, yeah, per between attempts you can... Okay. I'll be... I'll, that'll give me enough to... Uh... Get another heal in. All right. Yeah, it's changing Grushy's health bar as I scroll the <laughs> character sheet. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, would you like me to roll it again? Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Thanks, well. Twenty-five. Uh, still not good, but the puzzle holds with four slots. All right. So it hasn't reset yet. Uh, yeah, we'll give it another go then. Am I still helping? Uh, was that help for like the whole thing? Oh, that was only help for uh, probably one or like the first couple. So if you want to help again, you can. Yeah, let's help again. A 20. A uh, 4, which makes a 20. Okay. Uh, it's a, a small amount of help. Uh, the 28 is not quite. Uh, 21 is pretty bad, but still not quite breaking the puzzle. <laughs> 22. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's another, there's another blast of self healing. Uh, so, so you can roll again to try and help some likes more. to do some days. <laughs> oh yeah, let's assist again. With a 35. 35. This time you get a plus two for the next couple. And there we go. Finally, after uh, what was that, like 30, 40 <laughs> minutes of puzzle uh, breaking, you managed to the get the... The last ring only has so many positions. <laughs> <laughs> but every time you try to set one, the, the runes change, and you don't know what the runes mean. Mm -hmm. um, so you're just trying ah. to guess randomly, basically. Um, you're trying to, the two of you working together, you're like kind of understanding the patterns on the runes and you're like, oh, this one has mm -hmm. four horns. This one has three horns. Maybe that's next. Um, so eventually you, you finally managed to get the last, uh, the last ring in place. Uh, and you hear a click as the, the five rings, uh, are lined up perfectly. Uh, and the top of the scroll case uh, shifts a bit um, and kind of pops up just a, just a tad uh, ready for you to uh, fully remove it. I suppose we remove it then. Yeah. And unleash a terrible curse upon the land. Yay! Unleash <laughs> the curse! Uh, no terrible curse gets unleashed but... Um, on opening the case, you can see inside are a number of scrolls. Um, you can kind of count them. Uh, you can kind of leaf through them gently. Um, there are 18 scrolls in total um, in the in the case. All of them are very brittle. Uh, they look incredibly ancient, and even just like the first one you try to thumb. Uh, you manage to kind of break off the corner. Um, so you have to be very, very gentle with touching these. Um, but you are able okay. to... If you wish, you can pull them out. Carefully. I would like to very carefully do so. Um, oh. Should we set up the yurt? Set up the yurt. In here? Can we? You can, yeah. Well, I guess more space-wise. Is there space for the yurt? Is it 20 by 20 or, 20 by 20 or something like that? I think that? the yurt is 10 by 10, isn't it? Is it 10 by 10? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. As long as there's enough room, which looks like there is. Yeah. So. Okay. Then, yeah, we'll set up the yurt, I guess, in here. You can have a meal. You can uh, have a nice, relaxing way to... Rest. We can bring that light. Well, we can cancel that light and uh, light up something that's inside the yurt. Light of the night. 
Yeah, once it's expanded, it's it looks barely large enough to fit four medium creatures. So yeah, I think it's a 10 by 10. Um, my that eye is suddenly extremely itchy. Allergies. Um, squeeze in there and... <laughs> and that might give us some some room to be careful. That's a fair point. With these so scrolls. We'll have a bit okay. of room on the floor to kind of carefully spread out and look at things. Yeah, someone set us, sets up the yurt then and you all go inside. Um, your space, obviously, uh, much larger than what it looks like on the outside. Um, and you can very gently, gingerly try to pull these uh, things out. Um, give me a thievery check. Thievery check. Yes. Is like a sleight of hand. 41. That's a 41 total. Okay, so very carefully Where's removing the master thief? these scrolls from the case, you manage to lay out each one. Um, the first nine scrolls all seem to have the same um, kind of style to them, um, and are actually bound together with. Um, uh, like some kind of uh, some kind of like black string. Um, they appear to be very magical, and the runes as uh, the runes present on them seem to shift and change uh, with each glance. Um, and you can kind of, if you like, hold your focus, you can you can see what seems to be like a word written in Thessalonian, and if you let your eyes follow it, it's like you're reading from, from a book, like more words kind of appear in sequence, but the moment you look away and look back, the, the word changes to something else. So you can kind of, while you're focused on it, you can kind of read like you're reading from a book, uh, and like turn to the next scroll. Um, but it's, uh, you have to be focused on it, uh, to do so. Um... So yeah, that, is it nine copies of the same thing, or did, uh, no? They are they are nine uh, scrolls that are all just bound together. Um, they don't appear to be. It appears to be like one item together, and actually, these nine scrolls okay. are not as brittle as all the others. Um, so these are actually uh, pretty. For, for the age of all the other scrolls in this collection, uh, these eight, or sorry, these, yeah, these nine are, are, seem to be perfectly fine. Um, somehow. Uh, they do look old, okay. but they, they don't seem to be as brittle as the others. Um, the next nine scrolls, um, are much more obviously magic scrolls. Uh, each one seems to contain a different spell. What spells they These are? Spells I can take some time. Yeah, try and learn that. All right, I can start. I can go first and try and sure. do a quick pass over them. Sure. Uh, hit me with just some bang out nine uh, religion. <laughs> Fuck! I just minimized everything. What I meant to do. Some religion checks? Uh, yes. Religion checks is fine. Alright, we got 30, 20, 29. Let's see about that. So 30, 20, 29 for the first three. Mm -hmm. Um,. The first one. Uh, how do I? Oh, uh, I have to do it through here. Okay, fine. Oh, not a fan of the spell level. There we go. Uh, the first one. Uh, spell level. That with a 30, um, that is a 6th level restoration scroll. Uh, 
All right. That's a good start. I mean, can come in handy. Uh, the second one, you got a 20. Uh, you do not know what that second spell is. The third one was a 29. Spell three. Uh, do, do, do. That one is spell levels. There we are. Just a moment. Loading, loading. Spell. That one is scrying. Uh, a sorry, a sixth level scrying. Oh, also pretty potentially useful in the current situation. Also very rare. I don't. I want something easy to come across. Mm. Any more? Oh yeah, I, sorry, I forgot I hadn't made <laughs> any more rolls yet. Um, yeah, let's do the next batch of three uh, with a twenty-eight, uh, thirty-six on a net twenty, and a thirty-two. Uh, that doesn't help if I did the right thing. Uh, so 28, that one is, uh, you're not sure what that spell is, the 28, next Did spell. we get anything? Um, nope, you just don't know what it is. Okay. It seems to be very complicated, perhaps high level. Okay. Um, the next one that one what'd you get uh, sorry that was 28 the and 36 fifth one, the fifth one yeah is a nat 20 36 uh, that one is a scroll of resurrect It, you can either use it as a, um, it, it, you can use it to, to cast, uh, to like arrange the resurrection ritual, um, at any level. Wow. Uh, but only once. Uh, and then right. the 32, okay. uh, the next one. Uh, 32 you don't know what that spell is either it's also a very high level oh spell yeah all right and last three since this is going pretty well overall we have a 25 a 29 and a 25. At one minute per attempt, this is not slowing us down very much. Yeah, you're you're going through them pretty quick. Um, the next one is a... Uh, so that was a 25. A fourth level comprehend languages. The next one. That one's handy. Something we've been needing for a while, yeah. Oops. Sorry, I'm just like, I wrote down the spell names but didn't write down the spell level, so I'm like having to confirm. Uh... Uh, nope, not that one. There it is. Uh, for 
for a 29. Uh, uh, 29 is Raise Dead. A 6th level Raise Dead spell. And the last one, one the 25, um, that one you realize actually isn't a spell scroll at all. Uh, it is, it looks like a golden certificate. Um, written on it is some ancient Thessalonian runes. I will tell the group all about it. All about what we found. Did you win so, a trip to the ancient chocolate factory? It does kind of look <laughs> like that. It's got some... Three of these scrolls? <laughs> it's got some nice filigree all around it. Um, uh, it's drawn these on with three, some very nice I don't nice know ink. what they are. This one that I don't know is very powerful. Um, this comprehend languages we could probably use to read the other batch, this scrying might be able to tell us what Magmirian's up to, and this restoration might somehow be able to help us with Greshi's problem. Well, I can tell you restoration isn't going to work well for curses, but alas, I can at least take a look at the other scrolls. Maybe something in there wouldn't be useful. Asher can do him pretty well with that Thessalonian, though, isn't he? I am. I need a out of no. character. I the problem with this, here. with reading these scrolls, is that you can't really cross-reference with the book because as soon as you look away, it changes. So we might need an actual. That's like, possible. We can let Asher try for a bit. I don't. I don't want to waste also, this. Also, I think but... the idea is that we'll probably have these scrolls for a while. So well, a fourth level comprehend languages can give us all the ability to speak um, and read the language. Yeah, so we might want to save that. For one hour. Mm -hmm. So hold on to it for now and unless Asher is unable to read this, in which case we can then use it. It's not going to waste, but we're not using it unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my brain is addled. <laughs> so the scrolls themselves, uh, so everything except for the golden certificate and the um, the first nine scrolls are very brittle. So all the spell scrolls mm -hmm. are very brittle. Um to if handle you, them, you need to succeed at a thievery check to draw them without destroying them. Greshi, um, are you still permanently doomed? <clears throat> that is correct. So, restoration can help with that. If you have the diamond dust. Do you have diamond dust? Does the scroll still the scroll includes the diamond, diamond dust. dust? Oh, so it's our, it's actually in there. So that yep. could come in handy then. It is pre-primed. It's a fair option. I'm less concerned about the doomed condition right now, more about the fact that I can't think clearly, but... No, I I agree with you, but... Might be why I'm not so concerned about the doomed condition. Because I can't think <laughs> clearly. It's hard to say. Doomed? I don't care about that. <laughs> well, it does seem like a pretty good use of it. All the cool kids nowadays are doomed. I used to be doomed, Greshi. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking it about. wasn't cool. <laughs> oh, it come on. Don't be such bad. a square. <laughs> it was bad. I laid in a bed face down for days and I couldn't fall asleep. Come on, Greshi. All the kids are doing doomed these days. <laughs> <laughs> come on, gun. Let's... <laughs> you gotta get doomed next. I've already been there. That's true, actually. He's gone, He's gone further doomed than we have. <laughs> 
doomed as the gateway drug to mummy rot. Oh, no. Dead. Oh, yeah, now you got the mummy rot. Do you want to be like Greshi? He was doomed, and then he got mummy rot. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, well oh, I, and... Yeah. <laughs> so do you guys just gingerly put all the stuff back in the scroll case, or...? Oh, well, Greshi could still give the other three scrolls a try to see if he recognizes them, but then I would just put them back for now. And I, we probably should just use the the restoration. It's not like we're going to have a better use for it. That's a fair point, actually. Um, downside is I have to do a counteract. <laughs> or... I think... Let me double check. I may not actually have to on the restoration. I might just actually just do it. Um... It does, it just when reduces. When you cast, choose to okay. either reduce a condition or less than the I can just reduce it. Alright, well, before I go too much further, I'll go ahead and use the restoration scroll upon myself. Alright. Uh, removing okay. which thing? The doomed? Uh, the doomed condition. Okay. So I'm no longer permanently doomed one. Well done. Which luckily hasn't had to come up in quite a while, but it's always been there lurking in the background. Not for want of trying. Greshi does seem to be a condition magnet. <laughs> He's he, permanently he, blinded, permanently doomed. It does, have mummy a tendency, rot. it does have a tendency sometimes as well to stand in front of people and yell at them and make fun of them. Yeah, he It's a very bad idea fun. for a spellcaster. The karma. But um, yeah, doing doing splendid, doing well. We'll just uh try and figure out what the other scrolls are, real quick. There are what three how, of them. How much? How much doomed did, did you have? Uh, just the one. Just doomed one. Then you should. Then you should also be able to reduce your stupefied by one. I would double check that. Um, hang on. When you re you can either hang reduce on. the condition by two. I got a 30, a 30, and a 36. On the uh, the scrolls. Um, Aye. The 30 uh, is a 6th level remove curse. The oh, next one... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the next one? Do, 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 do. It was after scrimes. You got a 30 again, you said? Um, Correct. There is. Fuck. If you did it in some sort of list order, it was remove curse, crying, whatever this is, then resurrect. Uh, yeah, I've got. Uh, just... If that helps. I don't know. Let's see what I've done. Yeah, the three, the three missing ones were two, four, and six. Um, and you this... have improved on my rolls in all three cases. Yes. Uh, this one is a uh, sixth level field of life. Mm, that's fun. And the last one. Uh, is a fifth level sending. Mm. Huh. That could be useful as well. Um, Wait. I... That's the one that I had a... Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. A 32 on that didn't work. No, no, no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Sorry. Uh... Oh, I see what I've done. Nope. Well, sending Wait. is an uncommon spell. Sometimes that would affect it as well. Hmm. I don't think sending is uncommon, uh, but no, that's not the right. I thought it was. No, you're correct. Okay. Sending is not common. Where? I know scrying is uncommon. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's power word stun. That's what's going on. Oh. Uh, and I can confirm what level that is. Wait, sorry. Oh, but you got a you got a thirty six. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
why can't I see what level it is? Power word's done. Uh, I believe it's 8th level. Yes, 8th level spell. Whew. Well then. Um, Nicely done. Those are some very useful spells. I'm going to try and remove curse on myself. Um, this gets more complicated though. Well, I'm pretty sure that you would have removed one of your stupefied. I do not. I I confirm that. You what? It's a third so, condition to remove doomed at all. It is not related to the other two options. But it can only remove a temporary doomed condition. It can not remove a permanent condition unless you have cast a sixth. Anyway, um, as far as cast removing curse, though, if that's oh, a, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Curse. It's just a contract, and it was a six level remove curse. Okay. Uh, yes, it was six well, level. We'll try and remove curse on myself. So I just roll, basically a weapon attack or a spell attack. Uh, yep, that would be a spell attack. Mm. Hold on, wait before <laughs> you do that. Um, remove curse is a divine spell, so it might be better if I. Oh yeah, can you even that. use remove curse? If you can, oh uh, he's. Reshi can trick. Magic items, I can I trick magic items. So oh, I'm going I to see. do that first. Okay, but uh, yeah, gun could actually. Um, but just actually, if gun, if if he can straight up use it, yeah, go for it. Especially if the stupefy is going to impede you. Well, it'll impede me a bit, but honestly, I think it'd put us about equal as far as our magic level goes. What does the um? Mm, you could be right. I mean, it doesn't matter. I, it it saves me a uh, action to try and trick the item. So. The other thing I was going to say is that I still have a, a hero point. That's also beneficial. Yeah. Um, a special hero point that I can potentially use to give us two chances at this if need be. If need be. Well, give it a roll. See what you get. All right. So what is the type of a check for that? Uh, it'll, it'll basically be a spell attack. So... Um... It's your divine, divine spellcasting. Yeah, divine spellcasting. That is listed as only sixteen. Uh, add mind. your okay. uh, charisma, I guess, to that. And I think that's. I think that it is. It's charisma and level. Probably. Oh wait, no, charisma level and expert. I guess. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, if you're okay, if you're so just looking that at that, makes the... it twenty. Correct. So plus twenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So d twenty plus twenty. You try and counteract. Here it is. A nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Coming uh, through for you. You. That. Uh, with the scroll on the ground, you just kind of place <laughs> your hand on it, and then place another hand on Greshi's forehead. Uh, close your eyes and chant the ancient words. The spell scroll crumbles away um, as you cast it, um, but the the curse you can feel it lifting. Um, the t uh, I guess Asher, as you watch, you can see a green uh, mist, much like the uh, the kind of fog that the black monk kept exhaling. Uh, seems to like leave. Greshi's body, um, removing the curse itself. Um, Greshi's still stupefied. Uh, he still has the disease, mm -hmm. uh, but you are no longer affected by so the curse. Awful. Well, it's a success. Well, Ooh. that does feel better, though. Thank you for that. We've, uh, we've blown past our stop time yeah that's what i'm about to do so uh as as that mist fades away uh we will call it for the evening uh everyone is excited to look at cool scroll treasure so all right well oh, sure thank you all for playing with me thanks for joining us if you've been watching um 
We're on all the things, you know the things by now, hopefully. YouTube.com slash third action. Uh, if you're a new watcher or listener, uh, we stream every Monday night at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time-ish, uh, if we don't have technical difficulties, um, at twitch.tv slash third action. Mm -hmm. uh, third action show on Twitter. Hit me up. Say cool things. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Have a good night. We now exist in a better universe than last year, I think, hopefully. Bye.